Hello Sagittarius, this is Truth Well Told Tarot, I hope you're well. This is your love reading for November 2018 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. And I just want to mention for some of you, um, I have uh, general readings available if you haven't been on the channel before. Truth Well Told Tarot, there are general readings available for each sign. So, and um, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, Temperance, the Wheel of Fortune and Strength. And I've also pulled two Romance Angel cards. So Sagittarius, big month. Um, and I think it's a combination of business and also love. Because you have three major arcana cards in your deck. So major things happening in your life. Major transformations, changes, activities. So let's start with the Nine of Pentacles. This can be about re-establishing abundance in your life, maybe after a period of lacking. Um, the ability to stand on your own two feet. This can also be happiness um, in the home um, from material security. And maybe your relationship has been strained, Sagittarius, um, it could be lack of finance, a lack of prospects on business opportunities. Um, a number of things can affect this. But know that things are changing for the better now. This is a card of harmony. So it's a really positive card. And you've been working hard to change your life for the better. Certainly from the material security abundance perspective. And your ships, you see the ship in the background, your ships are beginning to come in. You're beginning to see your hard earned rewards pay off. And that's because you've taken action, you've chosen, you see how this man's chosen a wand. You've chosen your path in life and now you're committed to making it succeed. And you're beginning to see small successes. And I kind of think that that's affecting um, positively your happiness in the home. Uh, the material security that may have put a strain on the relationship is slowly becoming to um, change into be more relaxed, happy, positive. Um, and temperance. Temperance asks that you find the right mix in life. So pay as much attention to your love life as you do your business, work, career. Pay attention to your, um, your, yeah, pay attention to your emotions. You see the cup there? It's water and fire mix, which are two opposites. Because it matters to actually get that balance in life. Also, if you are starting out on a new business venture, I know this is a love reading, but sometimes the, the energies are mixed. Um, it kind of says, just make sure that you have the right mix of ingredients, um, look at the detail, and just make sure that you have the happy balance in life, um, that you're not getting too imbalanced with work or too imbalanced in the home life. You find the right mix for you. This card, because of the union of opposites, it can say that opposites can attract and also that there is a perfect union in that. You see all the steam that's being released by the fire and water coming together. So I kind of think that there's potentially um, it could be a, a love, a union of some kind that spurs you on, that makes you happy, um, that leads to some emotional contentment, as well as having a knock-on effect, because fire is in this card as well. So with the one's energy next to it, have a knock-on effect with your business prospects as well. So yeah, I think this is a card of... It kind of says, just make sure you get the right balance, the right mix in life. And if you do, karma changes in your favour. This is the Wheel of Fortune. 
this is divine timing this is next to temperance it is all about timing it is all about getting the mix right it is all about um making sound judgments it could be on the in your love life as well as your business life to achieve great fortune and abundance as shown in the nine of pentacles so you're re-establishing harmony you're seeing your chips come in your ships come in and i think you're really beginning to get a good balance between your work home life emotional life and um, your creativity and your inspiration as well and that's making you prosperous um it's breaking the cycle that you were in of maybe negative situation maybe a, a tough time at work or at home so it, i think the cycle's being broken here and i think you're i'm saying that because it's also a circle and i think there is some kind of completion that's going on where good fortune can come to you and it's saying that you can overcome any obstacles now and you're finding your own power again and where you probably felt you'd lost it where you were trying to assert yourself and it was two steps forward and three steps back you're beginning to feel like your own self again and in doing that you're opening your heart to other people to new love to new opportunities which is what the wheel of fortune is all about it's opening up opportunity opening up potential so be open to it that would be strong enough to be open to it you know have the have the strength to take advantage of um the gifts that are provided you this is divine timing this is um divine orchestration so the first card is past life relationships you have known each other before so maybe there is somebody coming in yeah from a from a past life yeah maybe there is somebody coming in leo sorry sagittarius from a past life and you just immediately click with them you just immediately click or it might well be a renewal i mean i spoke about harmony in the home on the nine of pentacles it could be a renewal of a relationship having gone through some tough times financially so yeah it's a really interesting card and it says it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and i think that's certainly what temperance is asking you to do and certainly get have the strength to to open your heart to the opportunity with the wheel of fortune to not just embrace business opportunities and financial success but really open your heart to be filled with happiness and contentment of being in love and loved by somebody else so i think it's a beautiful reading sagittarius i hope you enjoyed it as i said i do have the general readings for november available at truth well told tarot they are slightly longer than this um i hope november's a great month and i look forward to picking up next month thank you